Welcome back. You're watching the Midday Jolt. In today's Boss Move segment, you'll meet a trailblazer in an industry that you would probably never guess. Today's boss says they started by failing forward and is now a millionaire in the trucking industry. And they have quite the story to tell us about their success, not only as a person of color, but also as a woman. Casey Cooper made millions by building her own trucking company. And this afternoon, she's joining us from Memphis. She'll discuss with us the boss moves she's making in the male dominated industry. Casey, thank you so much for joining us here on the Midday Jolt. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Now you've had amazing success as a trucking business owner. Why do you say you started by failing forward? Well, I mean, you know, initially you have this, you know, dream to go out here and take over, you know, this corporate, you know, apex level. Um, it just wasn't very realistic to begin with. And then trucking is like a very, you know, expensive industry to be in. Um, so I just, you know, everything I learned, I learned on the cuff. I was literally just learning as I went. And so it was a, a, a myriad of failures, but I was, you know, steadily making progress and failing forward. So that's why I always say that. I love that. Now talk to me on how it's been for you as you navigate a male driven industry. Well, of course, men do treat women differently. And a lot of the women that I coach and, you know, different um, businesses that I help grow and expand, people don't really talk about that. So in a male dominated industry, if I say something to a man, it's going to go over a little bit differently if a man says something to a man. And I mean, in, in business, it is something that you need to address. Um, it's it's it happens every day. Um, and you just have to learn to navigate it and, you know, keep moving forward. Also, oh, we have to address how amazing you look in those videos, but let's talk about how the pandemic has changed, how a lot of people do business nowadays. How did it impact your operations and how did you adjust to that? Um, for me, I was one of the lucky ones because of course, with logistics mm -hmm. and transportation, the harder it is to get things, of course, it's gonna be more expensive, you know, for the consumer. So for me, my business has pretty much like quadrupled um, because we also offer classes. Um, a lot of the things that we do are online. People wanted to also pivot and learn how to grow their businesses and how to, you know, make more money and how to get access to these opportunities. For So for me, as for somebody who can, you know, provide solutions, um, people, you know, came and they answered the call and we've just been, you know, booming ever since the pandemic. So it's, it's looking very, you know, very, uh, you know, there's a lot of room for upward mobility. Okay. Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about that. Do you think it's uh, recommended for more people to kind of check out this new industry for them if they're looking for a job during this pandemic? Um, absolutely. One thing, you have two sides. So there's the, like the more admin, the business ownership side, and then you have the operational side. So, you know, to get a CDL license, it doesn't really cost a bunch of money. I was one of the ones that I went to, you know, the local DMV. I actually studied the CDL manual and I studied to get my CDL that way. So it did not cost me one dime. Um, you have that option for anybody who's, you know, not as, you know, maybe you're not as academic and you just want to drive. I mean, you have people doing a lot of Uber things, you know, this, this, in this go round. Um, and then on the business ship side, there's also, we have a turnkey trucking program that allows you to, you know, basically own the business and kind of sub out the work, so to speak, so that you don't have to have all of the operational costs. You don't have to own the trucks. You can kind of just hire them to do, to do the work for you. So it's, you know, really two sided in whichever side you feel, you know, the person feels like they, they fall on is the side that they could, you know, absolutely make a, a very lucrative living. Now let's talk more about that process that kind of takes time. What do you have to say to people of color and women who want to make their own boss move and start their own business? Absolutely. I mean, the, the time is now. I mean, what a time to be alive. I mean, we would have never thought that we'd be walking around for almost two years in masks. Right. So, of course, this is the new normal. I don't think we're ever going back to what was. Um, people are also fed up. People want more um, ownership of their lives. People want more quality of lives and people want more money. So, I mean, that's good. Um, there's so many opportunities, even on the federal side, you know, there's trillions of dollars for small business owners to actually, you know, sell to the government. But people don't know that, especially as, you know, people of color is kind of information that no one talks about. So, I mean, you know, you guys can get to Googling or just, you know, do a little bit of research, but there's a ton of opportunity out here for women, people of color. So the time is literally now. I love that. Well, Casey Cooper, it was so great to have you here. And for that advice, we appreciate having you here on the Midday Jolt.